All right, welcome to our first testing challenge here. We're still gonna be testing our user class. We simply moved it to a different file to give you a little bit more real estate in main.js. Now, what I want you to do is write a unit test similar to what we did for first name, except do it for the last name and middle name to test that they have the default values. Also, I want you to think about maybe there's a way to have a nested describe here to group our three tests that makes sense. See if you can come up with an appropriate label for that. Were you able to? If not, no big deal. Probably the first thing I would do is just copy and paste this over, right? We know the setup for this test is pretty similar. We're assigning defaults to our three properties in the class. So we have one here, let's clean that up. Instead of first name, this will be last name. And we'll change this here to be a last name. So our last name is null, and then we want to check to see that our last name is in fact an empty string. Very nice, and you can see it adds that additional test. It's nicely indented like so. We'll do it one more time for middle name. Clean that up. We'll say middle name, false an empty string. We'll change this to middle name. And whenever you're copying and pasting over a test like this, you want to be very careful that you actually change the values in here. I can't tell you how many times I've done something like this and accidentally had two tests testing the same one item. But now you can see mill name, defaults empty. Now you can see defaults, defaults, defaults could be a great indicator of what you might want to call the nested describe. That's what I'm going to call it. So we're going to describe default values. Because that's really what I like to do. And we're going to copy these three over. Put a little semicolon there, clear that up. Bam, bam. Clean up a little bit of the nesting. And, and then, and then, and save. And now you can see we have our two describes nested in here which will be helpful because as your Go and your test suite expands, you wanna have some more grouping in there where it makes sense. And in the next section, we'll talk a little bit about how to actually get rid of some of this maybe overlap that we keep seeing. Let's move on.